name is Steve Kozak, and uh, I'm a member of the livestock department here at Mount Vernon, George Washington's home and estate. And uh, unofficially, I guess I'm the ox guy. And that means I'm the main person who takes care of and works with these two here. Our current team of oxen is named Jake and Jed. Jake and Jed here, we commonly refer to now as uh, Red Devon or American Milking Devon is kind of the official name of the breed today. But in Washington's time, he really only ever wrote that he had red cows. And so what we have to do is kind of use a little bit of logic and red in cattle is this color. And then the Devon part, we well, you know, only comes in is because the ports in England that they were shipping cattle to the colonies were mainly in the area of Devonshire, England, which is sort of like a county in England. Jake and Jed are pretty lucky here today on the farm. Uh, mainly their work is involving pulling the ox cart and uh, in the winter pulling a sled and occasionally working in the fields with a plank drag, but not really all that much. And of course, for Washington, they would have been as valuable as a tractor is for any farmer today, because you're not going to be growing much wheat without oxen to uh, plow your fields and harrow your fields, as they would have been doing in his time. So Jake and Jed here are already nine years old. So it's pretty sure bet in Washington's time that they wouldn't even be around working anymore. He didn't want the oxen to work beyond the eight years of age because he wanted to sell them at market. Uh, and animals like this, you're going to be getting leather uh, from their skin. Horns were used to make things like spoons, combs for women's hair, buttons. If you come to visit Mount Vernon, you'll see the oxen in their, their field, the 12 acre field, where they live and do their grazing and uh, general sort of hanging out. And once or twice a week, we try to have the oxen out for an interpretation where they go down to the farm and do demonstrations, mainly pulling the cart or the sled or something like that. Or sometimes if it's super busy, they're literally just in the yoke and just sort of walking around doing demonstrations and showing them how they do the commands, G and Han, come up and well and things like that. 